This is your final chance to get the grades that you really want and the grades that you really deserve. So your exam is in less than 24 hours and you're either one of two people, the one that is staying up all night, cramming, panicking, running around, stressed, or you're the one who's pretty much chill because you think, ugh, there's not much I can do before the exam. What should you do the day before your exam to get amazing grades? Find out in this video. So guys, if you don't know me, I'm Shola and I'm a dental student. I basically got all grade nines and A stars in my GCSEs and A levels. And today I'm gonna be telling you what to do the day before your exam. So I know you guys don't have too much time, so I don't wanna ramble, I don't wanna talk too much. Let's get straight into the video. And just to support my channel, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and also share this with anyone that will find it helpful. Let's get straight into this. So the timestamps for today's video are Step 1, revisiting your weak points Step 2, effective planning Step 3, the cutoff point And Stage 4, what to do on the day of your exam So let's talk about Step 1, which is revisiting your weak points Throughout the exam period, you've probably accumulated a lot of exam papers A lot of questions And you're probably wondering, what can I do with this? Is there anything I can even do with these papers? Yes, there is So it may be too late to do an entire exam paper all at once from scratch but you can utilize the ones you've used in the past in order to see your weaknesses and see what you shouldn't do on the day of your exam. So rather than just doing past papers and throwing them away, not getting anything from them, keep them and keep a batch of them and use this as a method of reviewing your past mistakes. At the end of the day, the way that you improve your grade is by improving on your mistakes, improving your weaknesses, and then you will increase your strengths and get more marks in the exam. And that's ultimately what you are aiming to do. So look at your past paper for three types of mistakes. Mistakes due to lack of understanding, mistakes due to incorrect exam technique, and also mistakes due to human error or just you making a silly mistake. This is your final chance to get the grades that you really want and the grades that you really deserve. Make a difference to your grades, make a difference to the future you by looking at these mistakes and not making the same ones in your exam. Distinguishing these mistakes can prevent you from doing them in the future and also seeing why you did them in the past paper. For example, if it's a mistake due to lack of understanding, review it now and see whether you understand it after seeing the marks game. Do you actually truly understand the topic and would you be able to answer a different question based on the same topic? Use the question, cover the answer and think about what the right answer would be. Then look at the marks game and use this as a kind of flashcard to see that you're getting all of those points and that you're getting the full marks for that question. If you still don't understand it at this point, it's time to watch a quick summary video. You don't have time to be learning everything from scratch, everything in detail. Just go online, find a quick video on the topic and just go for it quickly and just make sure you listen to it and get something from it. If you have to jot down a few sentences, then jot them down, but try to keep it to a bare minimum so that you aren't really writing paragraphs upon paragraphs of something that's gonna be tested the next day. This can often make you feel more overwhelmed than good because you do not want to be completely clueless if this question was to come up in your exam. So just make sure you understand the topic, even if it's just a surface level understanding. If it is a mistake due to exam technique, for example, you knew the answer, but you just didn't get the marks. This is so common in subjects such as biology because the mark scheme wants you to write things in a specific way. So what you can do is you can cover the answer and answer the question from scratch. Make sure that you try to include the keywords, think about the keywords that you missed out, and then check it with the mark scheme. Once you've checked it with the mark scheme, get a highlight out, get a different colour pen and highlight these keywords. Make sure you know when to use them or what type of questions to use them for. And then when it comes up in the exam, you'll do a lot better and get the marks more easily. And if it's due to silly mistakes or just human error, learn from this. Don't just think, oh, I won't do that in the exam. The likelihood is that you would. If you're under so much stress in the actual exam, so much anxiety, you're scared, you can make the same mistake, if not worse. So learn from your mistakes. Realise why you did it. Were you just rushing? Were you not reading the question properly? Did you just not look, check over your work? These are things that you need to change from now so that you can make your exam technique the best for the exam tomorrow. Now let's talk about step two, which is effective planning. This is so crucial because you don't have that much time. You can't be doing whole past papers, but at the same time, sometimes you just want to check your understanding and just make yourself feel confident before the exam. So I'm going to split this into essay-based subjects and science or maths-based subjects. Now let's talk about essay-based subjects. For essay-based subjects such as English literature, history, RS, looking over your past papers may not be as useful and you can't exactly be doing whole essays the day before your exam. A much better way of quickly revising the topics and just making yourself feel more confident is to plan a question. This basically involves you either looking for a question online or making your own question putting it in the middle of a sheet and then writing the quotes, the keywords, the phrases, the points that you would make in that essay 
on the piece of paper this gets your brain in the exam mode that you need to get in for the exam it helps you to plan out questions it helps you to reinforce your knowledge and see if there's any gaps that you can quickly fill in today as you guys know for essay based subjects you aren't given prompts about what you should write for each paragraph the best way to tackle these questions is by practicing how you're going to plan them what you're going to say what points you're going to use beforehand so that you are more prepared for the exam there's also a potential that a similar question could have come up in the exam if you've planned something the day before and it comes up in the exam you're going to feel so happy and you're going to be right to like nobody's business like everyone's going to be looking at you like how the heck is this person writing so fast how do they know what to write it's because you planned it's because you focused on practicing and that's what truly matters all of these things also strengthen your memory and act as a way of active recall increasing the chance that you remember the content in the actual exam now let's talk about science or maths based subjects so obviously the way you tackle these kind of subjects the day before are going to be a lot different if you don't know something in maths you can't be cramming two or three years of maths in one day it's not possible there's a different way you should prepare the day before this is your final chance to revisit flashcards especially the ones you keep forgetting don't focus on the flashcards that you know like the back of your hand the flashcards that you don't even need to like think about it for more than one second because you already know it focus on the flashcards that you know you're really bad at that you know you keep forgetting and just ensure that you're confident in these and if you want to quickly revisit past papers you can quickly flip through them and see the topics which are coming up ensure that you're confident on these if you're not confident on them watch a summary video make sure you're ready for the high yield topics the topics that you keep seeing repeating itself over the years and over each year over each paper for example something like microscopy or magnification questions these type of questions always come up in biology and you have to make sure you're confident for them if you want to save time just answer the questions physically so just speak out the answer or think about it in your head don't waste too much time writing things down don't get your hands tired don't get your eyes tired especially the day before exams just quickly run through things check the mark scheme use it as a kind of flashcard and ensure that you know it do not focus on memorizing everything word for word memorize the key points the key words the things that you need to answer the question if there's a topic that you've seen and you think oh I'm not really confident in this this is the time where you can do a small past paper booklet a small exam booklet not too long should probably take you around 30 minutes and you can just do questions on this topic look at the answers search the questions up if you need to because a lot of people in student room also get confused by questions and then the people reply with the correct answer and the way they worked it out this can be really helpful the day before exam you don't want to feel completely not confident in topics because the likelihood is they could come up and then you would be clueless so try your best to just do a little bit of exam questions don't get carried away doing two three hours of questions just do a little bit learn from the mistakes and move on if you would like a quick recap on the whole exam you can watch one of these videos which basically summarizes the whole paper in two to three hours now take this with a pinch of salt don't watch the whole video you're gonna waste time you're gonna feel tired you're not gonna get anything from it you're not even gonna be listening to majority of it skip to the points where you're not confident skip to the points where you know you keep losing marks on and move on ideally you should spend less than 30 minutes watching this video remember you're not trying to learn everything fresh today you're not trying to stress yourself out you're just trying to refresh your knowledge and make sure that you know this stuff step three the cut off this is very very important the day before your exam you cannot be revising for four hours five hours six hours the day before your exam i'm so sorry to say it but if you don't know so many things the day before your exam you cram in all of this in one session by the time you wake up i promise you your brain is going to be empty you're not going to remember most of the stuff that you revised and you're going to be so tired you're going to feel like a zombie it's not going to be worth it so have a cut off point after this point I'm not doing any more work after this point I'm going to sleep after this point I'm going to watch a little tv show I'm going to do something that I enjoy and then I'm going to get ready for the day there is a point in time where sleeping will be more beneficial than cramming for the whole night sleeping is very important for your performance for your memory retention for just your brain working efficiently you guys know that sometimes when you have an all night and you wake up you're doing absolute rubbish you don't even know what you're doing you're making so many mistakes your brain feels slow it's just not the type of state that you want to be in on your exam day so do something that you genuinely enjoy whether it's watching one I repeat one or even two episodes of a series that you enjoy or what playing like 30 minutes of a game play something just enjoy yourself for 30 minutes so that you go to sleep and then a bit more relaxed you don't want to feel like oh I'm so stressed there's so many things I don't know you just want to feel chill to be honest you need to understand that being stressed out of your mind is not going to help you in any form shape or way apart from preventing you from getting a good night of sleep is really not going to help you so as hard as it is you want to try to get your nerves calm light a candle 
do something relaxing and just get ready for the day eat a good dinner with food that you actually enjoy really go to sleep happy and whether you have to make yourself delusional or not go to sleep happy go to sleep thinking tomorrow i'm gonna do the exam it's gonna go well i'm gonna pass it i'm gonna try as best as i can and just be delusional like it's not really hurting anyone just do what you have to do now step four the exam day come the exam day there are certain things that you want to do to maximize your chances of success the first thing is don't skip breakfast i know i know you're not a breakfast person you don't like eating breakfast it makes you feel sick i promise you the day of your exam if you do not eat breakfast your stomach is going to be doing aerobics your stomach is going to be making well sounds in the exam hall you're not going to focus on your exam because you're going to try to stifle the the storm that is in your stomach please eat something whether it's a few crackers it's a slice of toast it's a little bit of cereal eat something and it's good for your brain as well it'll give your brain the extra boost of sugar that you need and it'll just keep you stable for the exam don't come to exam with a rumbling stomach i promise you you're gonna feel so embarrassed and you're not gonna focus on your exam eat something small if you have to and try to avoid coffee try to avoid really sugary things you don't want your stomach to start blowing up in the exam and you have to go to the toilet and miss out time so honestly take it easy have simple foods don't be doing some absolute madness in the morning don't get tested we all love our friends we all like our friends but sometimes before the exam you don't want that friend to be asking you oh do you know the answer to this oh do you know this quote oh do you know this date no sometimes especially me i hate being tested on the day of the exam if you don't know it at that point you don't know it move on you can't be having this stress this tension this oh my gosh i don't know that right before the exam you need to be completely 100 percent confident in yourself whether you need to have some time alone or you need to just distance yourself from everyone before the exam just do it i'm sure there'll be no hard feelings just tell your friends about how you feel and they should be able to understand after the exam do not discuss your answers i'm telling you this now to help you don't go to your friends and say what did you get for question four most of the time one person got 52 one person got 56 you're over here and you got 751 and you're thinking oh if i failed that question i must have failed the rest i failed all of my exams i'm finished oh, i'm gonna get shipped off guys do not make this mistake please keep it to yourself another important thing do not be checking the unofficial exam mark scheme i promise you 99 percent of the time these are wrong why are you trusting fellow students who sat the same exam to get the answers to get all of the correct answers for the exam when i used to look at these unofficial mark schemes i used to think oh my gosh i failed my exams but i ended up getting nine so guys don't be following these mark schemes don't even click on them because they make you feel anxious they make you question your ability and then your exam performance for the next few exams is not going to be good so please do not follow these mark schemes do not open them most of all believe in yourself you've been putting in the work for months for weeks you've been doing the exam questions you've been going to your teacher you've been doing all of these things don't be thinking on the day of your exam i'm gonna fail i'm not ready you're ready you need to believe in yourself studies say that believing yourself having positive thinking is so important in your performance so guys whether you need to be delusional and do a superman pose in front of the mirror in the morning and tell yourself you're gonna pass your exam do it i promise you no one's watching you focus on yourself believe in yourself you guys got this if you guys have been watching my video i know you guys got this you guys are gonna pass with flying colors guys we're coming to the end of the video best of luck for your exams if you're going to exam tomorrow you got this i'll see you guys next time like comment and subscribe bye Bye.